everybody and welcome back to another vlog hopefully it's an exciting one this week because i am taking obi to our first ever british dressage area festival um so we only started doing british dressage this year um obi did do a bit of eventing in his youth so he was an event horse with me um and i just decided a couple of years ago he just didn't feel like he was loving it anymore and he'd really come into his own in uh the sort of the flat work side so i thought right i'll do some dressage um a couple of years i sort of tried to get there never got there and this year i was like right come on suck it up go do it um, and we managed to qualify for area festivals which a couple of months ago i didn't even know what they were um and then this morning i've got up and i'm extremely nervous guys i'm so nervous and i don't even know why i don't know if you can see my hand but um yeah i'm sort of like trembling a little bit and my stomach's going uh yeah nerves always get to my stomach so we've we've been on the emodium this morning but yeah i just feel really nervous and i think it's just the unknown um, because obviously with the venting i also do get nervous and i thought that was just because of the show jumping but i think it's because i'm quite competitive naturally competitive i want to do well i want obi to get the score that he deserves we've been working really hard and you know he's 18 i don't have loads and loads of years left in him um and i just want to go and sort of do our best so i think that's what i'm nervous about but uh yeah i think as well with an event i know exactly what i'm doing when i get there and uh, i've read the welcome pack i think i've got everything i need i know i have to go for a tack check i've got his passport but even still i'm just a bit like oh i feel like a fish out of water and yeah i'm like i'm an eventer what, what why am i here i don't feel like i should be there uh, but it will be fine anyway the weather is absolutely pants i don't know if you can see um it was rubbish yesterday as well so i haven't done any prep with obi yet whatsoever i've washed his tail but it will need rewashing um i like my horses to be out so although it means mornings like this it's a bit stressful getting them ready i know psychologically um they're much better and um obi's then had a bit of a wander around up and down the field and that's good for his joints and things so um i've got an hour and a half before i need to leave uh still need to finish the mucking out i need to plait up and wash him so i need to stop talking to you guys and i need to go and get ready uh procrastination i think i think it's procrastination so um yes yeah, so i need to get obi ready and then i'm gonna pack him up it's about two hours away which is a fair old journey and i'm actually on my own for the journey which i'm quite worried about um so yeah i want to leave in plenty of time i'm not on till quarter to four so i was thinking if i leave at like half 11 get there for sort of half one two that'll give me plenty of time and the lovely shelly from everyday eventers bless her she is so excited about today she is so supportive um, she just thinks we're going to be fine, which is so nice to have someone like, I don't know what you're worried about, you'll be fine. Um, yeah, she's so supportive. I think she's OB's number one fan behind me, obviously. Um, so she will be meeting us there. So I'm not going to be on my own for the whole day. I'm just on my own now getting ready and for the journey. Uh, she's taking a day off work for this as well. Like that woman is a legend. Uh, I've got her plenty of snacks though. You've got to feed your support team. Um, and yeah, hopefully it's a good day. I didn't get to ride OB yesterday because of the weather um which isn't ideal because he's quite fit and sort of hot at the moment so i would have liked to have done that so i think i'm going to give my warm-up like a good 40 minutes uh where normally i'd sort of do 25 i think i need to give him 40 minutes just really make sure we get out any of the sort of tenseness uh but yeah anyway that's where we're at i will try and speak to you again before we set off with obi however if i'm too nervous running to the loo or behind time i will not be doing that so i will see you either in a couple of minutes or when we get there bye for now right guys i'm back i've got a bit of hat hair on the go you'll just have to excuse that obi is all ready he's been such a good boy this morning he looks so smart as well look at him oh where is he there he is um he's been such a good boy i just gave him a big hay net and he's just stood he can be quite fidgety his personality is quite kind of oh what's going on like what's happening um so that's made life so easy so he's plaited up i'm sure shelly will uh, fiddle with the plaits to make them look even better um i've got my massage pad i've got a waterproof rug for him because the weather it's like absolutely peeing it down one minute and then it stops um luckily it was all right whilst i was plaiting him so uh, yeah, I've been quite lucky with that. But anyway, I'm going to get him on the box and we're going to head off. So I'll see you when we get there. 
Hello everybody, I am here, uh, well we are here, Obi travelled really well, he just stuffed his hay net the whole time, uh, he looked a bit cross at one point because I think the spray from the lorries was coming through his window, but uh, yeah it's always good when they travel well, that's the longest journey he's done in years, oh and look who it is, I was about to say we need to go find Shelley, uh, so we'll go find Shelley, check the boys okay, get our surroundings, um, and I'll try and video as much as I possibly can because this is a new experience for me. So uh, yeah, I'll try and share it as best I can. Eee, I'm excited down here, the nerves have gone. Okay, so we have had a look at where we're going. I'm warming up indoors and then using the indoor, thank God. Although it has actually brightened up quite nicely here. Um, Obi's been a little bit hot. Um, he's been a little bit on his toes. Here's my groom texting her fans. <laughs> Insta. Um, <laughs> hashtag, hashtag famous. Not. So famous. She's got to text all her fans, let, let them know where she is. Um, Obi has been quite on his toes, but I think he's settled down a little bit now. Um, but I want to give him quite a decent warm up just to make sure that he really is as calm as we can possibly get him, that he's nice and relaxed through his body, because when he gets like this, he goes quite tense in his neck. So we're going to get on in about. 13 minutes and then I've got 45 minutes to warm him up. I always do a stretchy warm up for a good 10-15 minutes um, and yeah I'll see you on the other side. Wish us luck!
was going to say, what is your reaction? Uh, definitely not our best test. No. <laughs> um, I lost quite a bit of like, the rideability. I just felt like it was like damage management. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was just against the bit a little bit. And he was really spooky, as you'll see on the video, with the judges at B. But it's such a big atmosphere for him. He's never done anything like this before. And it didn't really help that he had a bit of drama in the warm-up. No, drama in the warm-up. Been quite tense today anyway because obviously last time we came here he was eventing um so yeah not our best test don't think we're going to be in the placing but i'm really proud of him nonetheless i'm proud of you too um, mate you rode really really well yeah thank you very much uh, and as i say we've never done anything like this before it's a big arena it's a big arena with six sets of eyes looking at you it's scary so yeah i think we'll definitely do another one if we can score prediction Oh my god, no, I was going to go 68. Oh, 65. <laughs> 63 to 65. Right, everybody, we are done. I'm off, put my hoodie straight back on. Here he is. I'm so proud of him. I'm so, so proud of him. Was not our best test. He was spooky. He came above the bit. I lost a bit of the rideability, but... He's 18, he's never done anything like that. It was a big atmosphere. There was people watching, there was three judges, there was plant pots, there was a horse going freaking mental in the warm up. So he did really well to hold it together. So I don't know what the score is. Quite frankly, I don't care what the score is. I'm really proud of him. I think if we can, I would like to qualify for another one of these again, because as we know with Obi, he learns, gets better. Um, our first BD test wasn't very good and he's just got better and better. So. Yeah, lots of takeaways. I really enjoyed myself. I felt like a proper proper professional. Um, and this lady was amazing too. Where I was she? scared for you. I was scared for <laughs> She said that it's a, a bit of a shaky film. Yeah. Because she was nervous. Yeah, it was just, it was just, yeah, it was a big atmosphere. It was just a lot, but... Do you know what it's supposed to be? It's like, they need to introduce you. Yes, they, they introduce you as and well. They, they so, introduce you yeah. so properly. And, like, and they said he was 16 2. He's 16 1, guys. He's 16 1. Uh, not that tall. So, yeah, he did really well. We're going to leave the plaques in just in case, but yeah, there's no chance we're going to be anywhere near the top with that test. But I'm proud of him. I felt like the free walk, I just let go of the rain, said, There you go, off you go. The mediums, I just went for them. I thought, Well, you're spooking anyway, so I might as well send you forward a bit. Um, so, yeah, I will let you know when we have the scores. But scores aside, this pony is freaking awesome. Right, everybody, schools are in. Drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. We got a 66.4. So, yeah, I'm not um, over the moon, but I'm not disappointed either. I actually thought it was going to be more a 64, 65, just because he was so tense and unrideable. Um, we're currently in 11th with quite a few more people to go. Um, but, yeah, certainly not a disaster. Could have gone much worse with how he was feeling and how much he spooked to that judge at the beginning. Um, but it's all learning, isn't it? In retrospect, I probably should have um, done a long arena test in a competition environment. I perhaps should have come here and done um, a BD competition because the last time he came here, he was eventing. So I think he's been a bit like, where's the cross country all day? Um, but anyway, I've really enjoyed myself. Shelley was amazing. My horse is amazing. And I think this year I'm going to try and qualify again. That's the plan. Um and yeah, just put a bit more work in in terms of those long arena tests and uh, yeah, give it another go. But we've got a little plaque, which is lovely. And uh, yeah, certainly wasn't the worst test. So I'm really chuffed. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm tired. I don't know what else to say. The next vlog is actually going to be Sunday. Uh, I'm taking Franco combined training. So uh, yeah, I need to get home, get all my kit cleaned and we'll be doing that again. So um, I will see you next time, guys. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,